I'm Alex Osterberg. As president of the New Ulm Rotary Club, it is my privilege to applaud the students of all three high schools here in New Ulm this evening. I would like to express on behalf of all members of Rotary how proud we are of all of the students in New Ulm for their hard work, motivation, and focus in the face of unprecedented challenges this year. 2020 has been a lesson in adaptability and determination. Fortunately, this is not the end of your journey or your education. I hope that the skills that you've gained over the last 13 years allow you to continue to learn as you carry on in your studies and in your life. Today, it is an honor to recognize the school's top students whose hard work and ambition have set them apart. You truly deserve the recognition that you will receive this evening and your hard work will continue to pay off. Now, before we move on, I'd like to take a moment to also recognize the teachers, parents, administrators, and staff who have worked tirelessly to support our students. Without your hard work and guidance, none of this would have been possible. Now, please enjoy the rest of tonight's program and best wishes from me and the New Ulm Rotary Club. Good evening. My name is Paul Azuka, and I am the principal at New Ulm Cathedral High School. I would like to welcome everyone to the New Ulm Rotary Club Annual Rotary Scholars Ceremony. The New Ulm Rotary Club honors the top 15% of the New Ulm graduating classes of 2021. Thank you to the New Ulm Rotary Club for their recognition of these excellent students from all three high schools, as well as for the fine work that you do in our community. It is my honor to introduce, in alphabetical order, the top 15% of the Cathedral High School graduating class of 2021. Representing Cathedral High School is Jacob DeVries, the son of Chris and Erica DeVries. Jacob has found many ways to use his time and talents at Cathedral High School. His three major activities in high school are trap shooting, robotics, and serving on the new Axe tech team helping students and staff with computer updates and small repairs. Jacob plans to attend South Dakota State University and pursue a degree in construction management. Also in the top achieving seniors from Cathedral High School is Greta Finstead, the daughter of Brad and Jackie Finstead. A few of Greta's interests at CHS are her, are her involvement in gymnastics, theater, and volunteering at both Cathedral High School and St. Anthony Elementary. After high school, Greta plans on attending Iowa State University, checking out the Air Force ROTC program and majoring in biology with the plan of pursuing pre-med. The next cathedral representative is Grace Gleisner, the daughter of Joanna Tennyson and the late Adam Gleisner. Grace has stayed active throughout high school in school and community theater as well as school and community band organizations. She is also a member of the CHS Knowledge Bowl team. Grace plans to serve one year on the National Evangelization Team, or NET team, a Catholic youth missionary group based in St. Paul, Minnesota. After the NET experience, Grace plans on attending the University of Evansville in Indiana, where she plans to major in archeology span with a double minor in English and the classics. Sarah Moore is the next senior representing Cathedral High School. Sarah is the daughter of Marty and Sandy Moore. Sarah has been involved in a wide variety of activities during her high school career and lists her top three interests at CHS as her team sport participation in volleyball, softball, and basketball. Sarah plans on attending a four-year university her goal is to pursue a degree in interior design and follow her degree with a real estate license. The Cathedral High School top 15% rounds out with Sam Schatzko, the son of John and Ann Schatzko. Throughout high school, Sam has played soccer with the New Ulm Eagles, participated in theatrical productions at CHS, and has been a member of the Knowledge Bowl team. He plans to attend either North Dakota State University or South Dakota State University. Sam's goal is a career which will impact communities, 
using computer science, software engineering, or other related engineering fields. These five students are the representatives from the New Ulm Cathedral High School Senior Class of 2021. We are proud of the efforts you have put forth to attain this level of academic achievement. Congratulations to these deserving students and their families. On behalf of CHS, I also offer congratulations to the student scholars representing Minnesota Valley Lutheran and New Ulm Public High School. I am proud to announce that the Cathedral High School recipient of the Service Above Self Award is Grace Gleisner, daughter of Joanna Tennyson and the late Adam Gleisner. Grace is a wonderful example of service above self, a kind and gentle person. She looks to help others develop into the best person they can be. She models a serious disposition and a strong work ethic. Grace has displayed steady and guiding principles that help to influence her classmates in preparation for their own futures. Grace has developed her talents in band and theater to enhance the teams and organizations she belongs to both in school and in the community. Strong organizational skills and reliability have allowed her to be involved in many different activities to complement and enhance her aggressive schedule. Grace displays a desire to be a lifelong learner. Her interest in a wide array of aspects of life has helped Grace play a major role at, on the CHS Knowledge Bowl team. Grace's curious nature encourages other students to ask questions and try to understand more of what life has to offer. An active member in her home parish with Life Teen, Grace has taken a role in many of the special events of her parish. Grace plans to embark on a year of service as a member of the National Evangelization Team. Her deep faith life contributes to her consistency in caring for and supporting others. When asked to share comments on why Grace should be the recipient of this award, one of her teachers shared that they have observed Grace to be an exceptional student who takes seriously the truths of the gospel and lets the Lord guide her life. She treats her classmates and teachers with dignity and respect. Her positivity shines forth and she lives out of gratitude instead of seeking what will make her temporally happy. Grace's service to others is her strong example of compassion, organization, and reliability. Congratulations, Grace, on this well-deserved recognition. I am so proud of each of these students from Cathedral High School. They truly exemplify the school philosophy of challenging students to grow in faith, knowledge, service, and character. Cathedral High School thanks you for your determination and dedication in reaching your goal of academic success. Thank you. Student excellence is not only achieved with a high grade point average or an A plus on a challenging test, but is also achieved through work and study that happens after the final class bell rings at the end of the day and even after graduation. Student excellence can best be described as a voluntary and driven passion for learning in all areas, whether that be academics, arts, or athletics. Student excellence is striving to be the best version of yourself. And we are so fortunate in New Ulm to have so many school choices and organizational opportunities that allow students to grow into the person that they want to be. We never stop being learners, whether we are one or 100. Every day we can learn, whether that be a teacher directly teaching us or a book giving us new information on a topic we've never heard about before. Since we are students and we are always learning how the world works, student excellence can always be achievable with the mindset that there's always something new to study and with the drive to never stop learning. Thank you. Greetings from Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School. My name is Tim Plath and I serve as principal at MVL. Thank you Rotary Club for sponsoring this virtual recognition event. Congratulations to all of the students being recognized for their academic achievements and to New Ulm Public and Cathedral and their faculties, staffs, boards, and parents for their ongoing desire to promote excellence in education. Here are the eight seniors from Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School who make up the top 15% of the class of 2021. Naomi Anderson is the daughter of Quinn and Sharon Anderson. She has participated in cross country, basketball, National Honor Society, and track 
and she plans to attend college. Michaela Bendix is the daughter of David and Jennifer Bendix. She's participated in basketball as a class officer, volleyball, jazz ensemble, National Honor Society, and Network New Ulm. She plans to attend Augustana University in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Rachel Black is the daughter of Joel and Sherry Black. She has participated in student council, track, volleyball, and National Honor Society. Rachel plans to attend the University of St. Thomas. Emma Brueger is the daughter of Michael and Kimberly Brueger. She has participated in jazz ensemble, volleyball, dance team as a class officer, National Honor Society, and Network New Ulm. Emma plans to attend Bethany Lutheran College. Jonah Cromer is the son of Peter and Linda Cromer. He's been a class officer, has participated in Knowledge Bowl on our math team, in drama on the speech team, in charge of leaders, and in our National Honor Society. He plans to attend college. Emma Niebuhr is the daughter of Mark and Elizabeth Niebuhr. She has participated in jazz ensemble, knowledge ball, math team, soccer, speech team, track, cross country, drama, and National Honor Society. Emma plans to attend Martin Luther College. Luke Rogotsky is the son of Jim and Rebecca Rogotsky. Luke has participated in basketball, football, jazz ensemble, student council, baseball, knowledge bowl, math team, NHS, speech team, and drama. Luke plans to attend Martin Luther College. Nicole Schumann is the daughter of Matthew and Jenna Schumann. She has participated in basketball, drama, speech team, charge leaders, knowledge bowl, math team, National Arms Society, and Network New Ulm. Nicole plans to attend Martin Luther College. Congratulations to each one of these young people and to their parents too. Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School is proud to present this year's Service Above Self Award to Michaela Bendix. Michaela is a senior at MVL and is a daughter of David and Jennifer Bendix. Michaela is one of those students who seems to relish a variety of different responsibilities in her life. Besides being a full-time student at MVL, Michaela holds a part-time job at Hy-V. Then in addition, she has participated in the following activities at school. Volleyball, basketball, symphonic band, jazz ensemble, National Honor Society, and she has served as president of this group this last year, and class president all four years in high school. She has also served others by participating in mission trips through a church, as well as a Saturday morning basketball program Sunday school at church, and then helping out with volleyball and basketball camps at MVL. Michaela's teachers shared these thoughts. Michaela's leadership inside and out of the classroom is evident daily. She displays a heart of giving back to her school and others in all the extra hours and efforts she generously contributes. She frequently helps her classmates when they have questions in and out of class. Most of all, Michaela exhibits a love for her Lord and how she treats others with respect and concern. Congratulations, Michaela, on receiving this award. We have asked Michaela to share her thoughts on student achievement as it relates to her high school career here at MVL. Michaela? My name is Michaela Bendix, and I'm a senior here at Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School. I would first like to thank the Rotary Club for this opportunity to speak to you and the generous gift they have granted me through the Service Above Self Award. I was asked today to describe what student achievement means to me. The four years that students spend in high school can be the most challenging yet most rewarding time of their lives. Involvement in sports, clubs, arts, and academic teams are part of each high schooler's life in one way or another. The focus in these activities is routinely on achievement which looks different for everyone. We often think the terms of student success are determined by outcomes, such as conference ranking, tournament placement, quality of performance, grades on a report card, or class rank. These measurements of success can be different for each individual. An all-encompassing measure is essential. I believe the overarching measurement for achievement can be summed up with two questions. Did I, ask, I need to ask myself, 
Did I use my God-given gifts to the best of my abilities? And did I benefit others in the process? If the answer is yes to both, then I surely have made steps towards success. Student achievement is not only what we can accomplish for ourselves, but rather how we assist others in reaching their goals. In other words, how well we serve or benefit others. In my high school career, I didn't score the most points on my basketball team, I didn't star in the school play, and I won't be finishing with the highest GPA in my class. But I do feel I have achieved much. Other students' high school careers may look very different than mine, but that doesn't mean they have achieved any less or any more. To my peers from Cathedral, New Ulm High School, and my own classmates here at MVO, I would like to congratulate you for the success that you have had in navigating your own path to student achievement. All in all, each student's success is defined by their gifts, how they use them, and how they provided service to others in the process. No student would be capable of accomplishing as much as they have without a strong support system assisting them along the way. I would like to conclude by expressing my gratitude for the countless opportunities MVL has provided me over the last four years. Without a doubt, I have been blessed with wonderful occasions to grow in academics, arts, athletics, leadership, and most importantly, my faith. Thank you to my parents, friends, teachers, coaches, and everyone else who has guided me on my journey towards my own version of student achievement. First, I'd like to thank the New Ulm Rotary for their consistent support of the area high schools, especially during the stressful time of the pandemic. I'd also like to congratulate Cathedral and Minnesota Valley Lutheran on the ex exceptional students they produce each year. I'd also like to thank the parents for the support they give to, stu to the students. It's not easy to be in the top 15%, and without your support, they may not be there. I'd like to congratulate the Newham High School students and the work that they've done to achieve the top 15%. I'd like to recognize them individually. First, Alice Allie Anderson. Allie is the daughter of Ann and Craig Anderson. Allie enjoys coming to school and studying math and English and reading. She plans to attend Luther College and her course of study right now is undecided. Elizabeth Bianchi. Elizabeth is the daughter of Leslie Bianchi and Frederick Bianchi. Elizabeth enjoys FFA, National Honor Society, and the yearbook. She plans on attending Winona State University and studying nursing. Isaac Blumhofer. Isaac is the son of Scott and Shelley. Isaac enjoys soccer, tennis, and knowledge bowl. He plans on attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and wants to attain a bachelor's degree in statistics. Max Giesecke. Max is the son of Jenny and Tim Giesecke. Max enjoys tennis, knowledge bowl, stu and student council. He plans on attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and plans on earning a degree in physics. Jake Hauser. Jake is the son of Gary and Danielle Hauser. Jake enjoys math, knowledgeable, and science. Jake plans on attending Mankato State University or Southwest State University. He plans on studying statistics. Abby Haitala. Abby is the daughter of Kathleen and Jeff. She enjoys her women's tennis, musicals, plays, and knowledge bowl. Abby plans on attending the University of Minnesota Duluth and studying exercise and re rehabilitation. Marley Jackson. Marley is the daughter of Jennifer and Brandon Jackson. She enjoys cheerleading, art, and music. She plans on attending Hamlin University and studying psychology. Alexa Johnson. Alexa is the daughter of Jody Johnson. She enjoys concert band, marching band, and tennis. 
She plans on attending the University of Minnesota Mankato and studying creative writing. Alice Lewandowski. Alice is the daughter of Aaron and April Lewandowski. She enjoys FFA, trap shooting, and the National Honor Society. She plans on attending South Dakota State University and studying animal science and hopes to be in the pre-vet program. Lily Lewandowski. Lily is the daughter of Aaron and April Lewandowski. She enjoys cheerleading, FFA, and National Honor Society. She plans on attending Southwest State University. She plans on studying marketing and communications. Griffin Marty. Griffin is the son of Rihanna and Adam Marty. He enjoys ecology, bio, biological sciences, and knowledge bowl. He plans on studying at the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. He plans on entering the field of ecology. His goal is to major in ecology and evolution. Emma Munson. Emma is the daughter of David and Janelle Munson. She enjoys playing volleyball, track and field, and enjoys being in the National Honor Society. She plans on attending the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, where she will study biology, hopefully end up in pre-health. Grace Pearson. Grace is the daughter of Michelle and Nathan Pearson. She enjoys community service, fellowship of Christian athlete, and horseback riding. She plans on attending the University of Wisconsin River Falls and studying mathematics education. Cole Ranweiler. Cole is the son of Brady Ranweiler and Nicole Schroeder. Cole enjoys baseball, football, and wrestling. Cole plans on attending the University of Minnesota Mankato, studying business. Alexis Rustin. Alexis is the daughter of Stephanie and Shane. She enjoys soccer, dance, and band, and she plans on attending the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, studying chemistry and physics. Ketter Schmitz. Ketter is the son of Craig and Ricarda Schmitz. He enjoys baseball, hockey, and the National Honor Society. He plans on attending Minnesota State University Mankato, studying finance. Hunter Sayre. Hunter is the son of Ben and Heather Sayre. Hunter enjoys baseball, basketball, and math. He's currently undecided in where he wants to attend, but when he decides, he will study business management or architect. Connor Sleddy. Connor is the son of Trevor and Katie Sleddy. He enjoys three sports. He enjoys science and music. Connor plans on attending the University of Minnesota, the College of Biological Sciences, and he plans on studying biology, biochemistry, and biomedical engineering. Sarah Van Meveren. Sarah is the daughter of Sean and Michelle Van Meveren. Sarah enjoys band, choir, and soccer. Sarah plans on attending South Dakota State University in Brookings and plans on studying nursing and becoming a registered nurse. I would like to thank the work that these students have done and congratulate each of them on being in the Newham High School top 15%. Thank you. As the principal of Newham High School, I find it very difficult each year to recognize one student over others for the Service Above Self Award. There are so many students that do so many things and go so far above and beyond without the special recognition that each one deserves. Nevertheless, each year we are able to identify one student that shines a little brighter. This year, Sarah Van Meveren has been selected as Newham High School's Service Above Self recipient. Sarah is an outstanding student, maintaining a 4.0 GPA. We do not have weighted grades. She does this while 
taking some of our most difficult courses, including honors classes and college in the schools. Sarah plans to pursue a career as a doctor or engineer or nurse, something in the medical field. When Sarah is not studying for her classes, she finds time to help others. Last March, when COVID-19 impacted all of us, Sarah organized a mask, a mask making campaign. She did this with other students in the National Honor Society. Her goal was to support others so they could work and be safe. Sarah works at Oak Hills as a CNA. She assists with the residents' daily needs. When asked what motivates her to work at Oak Hills in these trying times, she stated, I am learning how to take care of other people. When she is not working or studying or caring, caring for people, she spends time tutoring other students. Helping other students provides her a special pride. It allows her to give back to her school community. It is because of these special, it is because of the special person Sarah is and has demonstrated throughout her high school career that she has been selected as Newham High School's Service Above Self recipient. Thank you, Sarah, for everything you do. You are very well deserving of this award, and congratulations. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for this award. I'm very honored to be its recipient. When I was little, I made a promise to my father that I would always try my best, no matter what I was doing. And I'd like to think that I've done a pretty good job at keeping that promise. For example, I'm in the top 15% of my class, at class rank number one, which is a rank that I share with Isaac Blumhofer and Max Giesecke. When I was a little older, I made a promise to myself to treat others the way I would want to be treated. In seventh grade, I just moved to New Ulm from Wabasso. I joined the soccer team, which was something I'd wanted to do before then, but my old school did not offer it. I would usually bring about 20 bucks to away games for concessions when I didn't bring food. Seems like a lot, because it kind of was, but I usually brought that much in case one of my teammates forgot to bring money and food. When that would happen, I would lend the girl some money so she would not go hungry, or if I brought food, then I'd share some. I never really expected them to pay me back, and a few have not, but others have returned the favor since then. Did it because I would want to be able to eat if I didn't have food, so I did that for other people. I also hold open doors for people, especially those with their hands full, because while it is a small gesture of what used to be common courtesy, it would make my day if somebody was considerate enough to do that for me. That being said, I also make an effort to always thank everyone who holds a door for me because this is the least I can do. One thing that I have learned is that people are prone to only consider their own self-interest. They refuse to even think about other people's problems when they have their own to deal with. This is understandable because just like any other animal, our needs come before everything else. But what people do not seem to realize is that it is in our interest to also consider the needs of others. There are many instances where people benefit from serving others. For example, lots of people, including me, are members of the National Honor Society. We have to do a significant amount of volunteer work to become and stay a member, but we also look good to colleges and earn a lot of respect from the community. I have served a two-year term as the student representative for our high school on the Brown County Public Health Advisory Committee as well. I went to meetings during school hours to help give input on what I have seen in our school regarding various health topics so we could work together to improve policies and the health of the community. It's beneficial for me in that it was a very educational experience, and I got paid. I also organized the National Honor Society Mass Drive last spring. People needed masks, and I needed volunteer hours, as did the other NHS members. Helping people also just simply makes me feel good, and that's reason enough for me. Another thing that I've learned is that life is full of sacrifice. People sacrifice time, effort, money, relationships, and so on to gain something. Making a sacrifice does not necessarily equate to losing something, but rather exchanging something for another. Serving others requires a certain amount of sacrifice, but it's worth it. Lastly, I have learned that one of the easiest ways to serve is to be the best version of yourself, because you're not doing anybody any favors by being anything less. Thank you. 
As this scholars program concludes, I would like to extend another big thank you to everyone at New Elm Area High School, Minnesota Valley Lutheran School, and Cathedral High School for all their work in making this non-traditional scholars banquet possible. And on behalf of everyone in the New Elm Area Rotary Club, I would like to extend another big congratulations and best wishes to every, each and every student honored this evening. Thank you and have a great summer.